Donut Lab claims their solid-state battery delivers 400 watt-hours per kilogram, charges in 5 minutes, lasts 100 years, and costs less than lithium-ion. Impossible? That's what experts said, yet electric motorcycles with these batteries are shipping to real customers right now. Toyota and Samsung spent billions and failed. So, how did a small startup crack what seemed physically impossible? Is this history's biggest battery scam? Or did they find something everyone missed? Let's dive right in! CEO Marco Lemaki stood before the camera and made promises that sounded like science fiction. A battery with 400 watt-hours per kilogram, nearly double what the best lithium-ion batteries achieve today. Full charge in five minutes, not hours. A lifespan of 100 years with 100,000 charge cycles. And the kicker? Cheaper than conventional batteries because it uses no rare materials. For context, Tesla's best cells hit around 250 watt-hours per kilogram. The most advanced research prototypes barely touch 300 watt-hours per kilogram in lab conditions. Donut Lab claims they're mass-producing something at 400 watt-hours per kilogram. Energy density isn't just a number you can inflate with marketing. It's constrained by fundamental physics. The atomic weight of materials, electron transfer rates, thermodynamic efficiency. You can't simply wish your way past these barriers. Yet Donut Lab insists they've done exactly that. Without trade-offs. No slower charging. No shorter lifespan. No safety compromises. This is where experienced engineers start asking uncomfortable questions. Because in battery technology, there's always a trade-off. You want higher energy density? You sacrifice charging speed. You want longer lifespan? You accept lower power output. That's not opinion, that's physics. Battery experts didn't hold back. One senior executive at CATL, the world's largest battery manufacturer, publicly rejected Donut Lab's technology, not with polite skepticism, but outright dismissal. CATL has spent billions developing solid-state batteries with thousands of PhD researchers. They know exactly how hard this problem is, and more importantly, they know what's physically possible versus marketing fiction. Toyota has been working on solid-state batteries since 2010. Samsung announced their breakthrough prototype in 2020, promising commercialization by 2027. QuantumScape went public with billions in funding and still hasn't shipped a single commercial product. These aren't small startups, they're industry titans with unlimited resources. And they're still struggling. So when a young company with a small team suddenly claims they've leapfrogged everyone, industry veterans naturally smell something wrong. The public wasn't buying it either. Scroll through Donut Lab's YouTube channel and the comment sections paint a damning picture. Viewer after viewer calling it hype, vaporware, or worse, an outright scam. The pattern is familiar. Bold claims backed by minimal evidence, conveniently delayed timelines, and promises that sound too perfect. We've seen this with Theranos promising revolutionary blood testing, with Nikola claiming breakthrough hydrogen trucks. Companies that promised technological revolutions, but delivered nothing. Then came CES 2025. This was Donut Lab's moment to silence the critics. Instead, what happened there made things worse. They displayed battery modules with beautiful industrial casings, polished surfaces, standardized mounting points, thermal management systems. Everything looked production ready. There was just one catastrophic problem. No actual batteries inside. What attendees saw were empty shells, no functional cells, no live demonstrations, 
No charge-discharge curves proving the technology worked. Just hollow enclosures. Critics pounced immediately. If you have a working product, why not show it? In an industry where working prototypes are the currency of credibility, showing up with empty boxes is like a chef opening a restaurant with no food. Donut Lab insisted the modules represent their manufacturing readiness, that the casings prove they're serious about real-world integration. But pretty packaging means nothing without the technology inside. Anyone can create a box. The hard part is making the battery actually work. This is typically where fraud stories end. Big promises, flashy presentations, but when it's time to deliver actual hardware, there's nothing but excuses. Except something completely unexpected happened next. While experts were writing obituaries for Donut Lab's credibility, Verge Motorcycles dropped a bombshell. The TS Pro, an electric motorcycle using Donut Lab's solid-state battery. Not a concept vehicle, a production vehicle with deliveries to actual paying customers. This changes everything. Fraudulent battery companies don't integrate their technology into real products because real-world use exposes lies immediately. You can't fake a motorcycle that someone rides every day. If the battery doesn't charge in five minutes, customers will notice. If it dies after a few hundred cycles instead of thousands, warranty claims will flood in. Verge Motorcycles is risking their entire brand reputation on this partnership. That's not something rational businesses do for vaporware. And Verge isn't alone. Donut Lab has partnerships with compact mobility platforms, electrified trailer systems, and robotics companies. These are signed contracts with engineering integration timelines and delivery commitments. Multiple companies are betting their futures on this technology. So, either this is the most elaborate multi-company conspiracy in battery history, or something genuinely real is happening here. Look at where Donut Lab is actually deploying their batteries. Not in cars, not in grid storage. Instead, they're targeting motorcycles, scooters, drones, and small robotics. Applications that need 3 to 10 kilowatt hours, not the 80 to 100 kilowatt hours an electric car requires. This reveals something crucial. In battery engineering, scaling isn't linear. It's exponential in complexity. A technology that works reliably in a small system can fail catastrophically at automotive scale. Thermal management becomes exponentially harder. Manufacturing tolerances become impossibly tight. Safety testing requirements become astronomical. By starting small, Donut Lab sidesteps the hardest challenges. Motorcycles are more forgiving than cars. Lower energy requirements mean less thermal stress. Smaller cell formats are easier to manufacture with precision. You can iterate fast, test in the real world, identify problems, and validate improvements within months instead of years. This mirrors how lithium-ion batteries developed. They didn't jump straight into cars. First came consumer electronics in the 1990s, then power tools in the 2000s. Only after proving reliability in smaller applications did automotive adoption begin. Even skeptics who doubt the 400 watt-hours per kilogram claims admit this deployment strategy makes technical sense. Multiple battery researchers suggest Donut Lab's device might not be a pure solid-state lithium battery. Instead, it could be a hybrid system combining electrochemical storage with capacitor-like behavior. This explains everything. Traditional batteries store energy through chemical reactions, which is slow but high capacity. Capacitors store energy through electrostatic charge separation, which is extremely fast but low capacity. A hybrid system could achieve both. Fast charging like a capacitor, high energy density like a battery. This would explain the 5-minute charge times without degradation, the extreme cycle life, 
and the thermal stability. It would also explain why scaling to automotive capacities presents challenges. If Donut Lab has developed a hybrid architecture, they're not lying about performance. They're just not building what most people assume when they hear battery. This also explains the energy density discrepancy. Donut Lab initially claimed 400 watt hours per kilogram, but CES displays showed 350 watt hours per kilogram. Energy density figures vary dramatically depending on measurement conditions, cell level, module level, or complete system, peak theoretical or sustained operational capacity. For motorcycle applications, even 350 watt hours per kilogram represents a massive improvement. After analyzing all evidence, the truth appears to be neither revolutionary miracle nor complete fraud. Donut Lab has likely developed a functional energy storage system that genuinely outperforms lithium ion in specific metrics and applications. But it's probably not the pure solid state miracle battery that can immediately replace lithium ion everywhere. The most telling evidence? Real motorcycles with Donut Lab batteries are shipping to real customers who will ride them on real roads. Fraud lives in the future, coming soon, pending final testing. Real products shipping today to customers who can independently verify performance? That's evidence that can't be faked. What we're likely seeing is a viable niche technology that will dominate small mobility applications while struggling in automotive for years. That's not failure. It's exactly how breakthrough technologies develop. The smart money says Donut Lab won't power millions of electric cars tomorrow, but they might revolutionize electric motorcycles and scooters starting today. And that alone would be worth billions. So here's the answer. Donut Lab isn't a complete scam, but it's not the miracle battery that will instantly change everything either. What they've likely created is something genuinely innovative in a specific niche. And that matters more than people realize. Here's why this is significant. For decades, battery breakthroughs have been announced, hyped, then disappeared. Donut Lab is different because they're shipping real products to real customers today. That's the metric that separates genuine innovation from vaporware. Motorcycles are riding on this technology right now. That's evidence you can't fake. Over the next 12 to 24 months, these batteries will accumulate real-world operational hours. Data will emerge. Independent testing will happen. Either the technology proves itself or it fails publicly. There's no hiding anymore. The bigger picture? Battery technology is fragmenting. We're moving past one chemistry fits all. Maybe Donut Lab dominates small mobility while lithium-ion continues in automotive. That's not failure, that's evolution. So what happens when these motorcycles hit 50,000 miles? Will performance hold, or will degradation expose the truth? Share your prediction in the comments. Thanks for watching Tech Revolution. If this breakdown helped you understand what's really happening, smash that like button and subscribe for more deep dives separating hype from reality. Hit the notification bell so you catch our next analysis. The battery revolution isn't coming, it's shipping today.